Good day everyone. Today let's talk about designing an experiment. I'm Dr. Florence Pagaduan Alicante at your service. Experimental design is the creation of a detailed experimental plan that allows you to obtain the maximum amount of information specific to your objectives. So this is the first thing that you will do before doing an experiment. In doing an experimental design, these are the essential components that you need to integrate. We have the title, the problem, hypothesis, independent variable, dependent variable, the control variables, control group, experimental group, materials, and procedure. For instance, you want to identify if salt has an effect on the potato cell. So formulate a title. The title would be the effect of salt on the size of potato cell. Now that you have a title, the next thing that you will do now is to formulate a problem based on the title. So your problem now will be, what is the effect of salt on the size of potato cell? Next is formulate the hypothesis. And remember our formula that in formulating experimental hypothesis, use the if-then statement. So, if salt is added on the potato cell soaked in water, then the potato cell will decrease in size. So, you will predict what will happen to the potato if you add salt on it. So, that is hypothesis. Our independent variable is salt because salt is the one that is being manipulated. And our dependent variable is the size of potato cell. Because when we see dependent variable, it is the one that we are going to measure. Next is identify how many groups are you going to use, groups or set up. So since this is an experimental, you will be using control group and experimental group. So control group is the one that does not receive the treatment of salt. So control group is a potato soaked in water. And the experimental group will be the one with treatment of salt. So it is now the potato soaked in salt water. Now identify the materials that you will use in your experiment. So you may use, of course, one piece large potato, 8 grams of table salt, 300 ml of distilled water, four identical jars, a weighing scale, knife, and spoon. Next is you will plan now on what will you do with the procedure. What will you do in order for you to identify the effect of salt on the size of the potato cell? Here would be the procedure. One, label the three jars with zero grams, three grams, and five grams respectively. Two, Pour 100 ml of distilled water into its jars. 3. Add 3 grams of table salt on the jar labeled 3 grams and add 5 grams of table salt in the jar labeled 5 grams. Stir using a spoon until the salt is dissolved. 4. Using a knife, peel the potato and cut 9 strips with a dimension of 5 mm width and 40 mm length each. 5. Put 3 potato strips in each glass. Set aside overnight for 24 hours. 6. After 24 hours, take the potato strips from the jar and place them on a paper towel. 7. Measure and record the length and width of each potato strips in all the setups. So this will be now your setup. So your potato should have a control group without salt, experimental group with salt. And then under control group, we have 0 grams of salt, 100 ml of distilled water, and 3 pieces of potato strips. And there, under your experimental group with salt, it is divided into two. Okay, B and C. For in B, 3 grams of salt is added. And in C, 5 grams of salt is added. And then both will have 100 ml of distilled water and 3 pieces of potato strips. Activity time. Before we proceed to the activity, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Number one, 
A good research title shows the relationship between the independent and dependent variables. Which of the following is a good research title? A. The effect of sunlight on the growth of cactus plant. B. The academic achievements of ST students in science. C. The salt effect animal cell. D. The best cleaning materials in the world. Number 2. Independent variable is a variable that is manipulated in order to see its effect on the dependent variable. In the research title, the effect of BG lesson as an instructional material on the summative test scores of grade 7 students, what is the independent variable? A. Grade 7 students. B. Instructional material. C. Summative test scores. D. Video lesson. Number 3. Dependent variable is a variable that is tested and measured. In the research title, The Effect of Sunlight on the Growth of Plant, what is the dependent variable? A. Effect B. Growth of Plant C. Sunlight Number 4. Nena wanted to know the effect of zone rocks in cleaning his kitchen counters. He used colored zone rocks, original zone rocks, and just water. For each cleaner, she put 5 grams of baking soda on the counter, he sprayed the cleaner, and wiped it with one paper towel. What are the control variables that she used? 1. Zone rocks 2. Water 3. 5 grams of baking soda for kitchen counter, five paper towel. And here are the choices. A, one, two, and three. B, two, three, and four. C, two, four, and five. D, three, four, and five. Number 5. There are two packs of plants labeled as A and B. Pack A is treated with an organic fertilizer, while pack B is not. Which pack is the experimental and control group? A. Pack A is the experimental and pack B is the control group. B. Pack B is the experimental and pack A is the control group. C. There is no experimental and control group. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to watch more videos. Have a great day!